Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Laurent, and we're back with another video. You see the thumbnail, you see what this video is about. But before we get into this video, I want to say what's up to my subscribers. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you are new, please consider hitting subscribe and turn on notifications because on this channel, we do thought provoking videos, reaction videos such as this one right here. And once a month, I do a black owned review on the black owned product. So if you're into that kind of content, hit subscribe and turn on notifications and please like and share this content. We have Mr. Don Lemon and Chris Cuomo on CNN talking about people with um, vaccine hesitancy, right? And they're giving their points and their views about vaccine hesitancy and how they feel like people are that's hesitant to get the vaccine. So I will play the clip of these two speaking about it. I'll give you my opinion during the clip. Then I'll give you my full opinion after the clip. So let's get into it. Well, when it comes to this and the vaccine saying, oh, you can't shame them. You can't call them stupid. You can't call them silly. Yes, they are. The people who aided and abetted Trump are stupid because they believed his big lie. All right, that's the first thing. Um, Trump, like people I know who has vaccine hesitancy, they're not really saying they're hesitant because of Trump. You know what I'm saying? So I guess they have to throw Trump into it because it's CNN and that's CNN's, um, I guess, guidelines, right? In the contract allegedly i'm not saying that's the, that's the case but that's what it seems like they always got to throw trump into something and um the people i know who was hesitant of getting a vaccine never mentioned trump the people who are not getting vaccines who are believing the lies on the internet instead of science it's time to start shaming them what else or leave them behind all right another thing you said believe in lies on the internet okay i give you that but then you say not believe in the science. There are scientists out there that's saying that this vaccine is not safe. So which scientists should we believe? The one that's in your narrative or the ones that's not in your narrative? Be because they are keeping the majority of Americans behind. You didn't feel that way about the polio vaccine. You don't feel that way about measles, mumps, rubella when it comes to your children. And all of a sudden this vaccine is different. All right. The difference between those vaccines and this vaccine is that uh there's no real clinical trial for long-term side effects so these other vaccines they have long-term side effect trials so we know what to expect and we know how to combat these things this one we don't know so it's an unknown that's pe keeping people hesitant of getting it what, what's different about it the only different thing about it is because of your politics today like i said before the people that I know that's hesitant has nothing to do with politics. They're not saying because of Biden. They're not saying be saying they're not saying because of Trump. They're not be saying because I'm liberal or um, I'm conservative or I'm Democrat, I'm Republican or whatever. People are saying it because it's unknown. It's an unknown thing, and that's something that needs to be addressed. And this way, it's not addressing it. The the people talking about well, I don't know what's in the shot, Chris. I don't know what's in that shot. You know what's that, you know what they they get shots in nowadays and their rear ends <laughs> see that's a shot at nikki um i heard about this when he said that that nikki said something about um don lemon's the last person to said to say to take anything in the rear end type of comment right talk about his sexuality see now he's just going through this whole slippery slope i don't know it's, it's getting bad they're getting shots to make it bigger they're getting shots in their face they don't know what's in botox they don't know what's in uh, the stuff. Nothing wrong with Botox. People Try don't. Uh, that's weird. Why is he caping up for Botox all of a sudden? I guess maybe he offended people that's in his circle that, that use Botox, right? So you can offend people who has hesitancy against the vaccine, but you can't offend people who use Botox because now he's keeping up for Botox. Oh, what they eat, Look, what they drink, I tried it once, smoke. my eyebrow went up. I don't have it now. As you can see, I got all these wrinkles. Everybody asked me when I'm going to get, you can eat Botox. But listen, nothing wrong with Botox. Clearly. But I'm saying, do people... <laughs> While Chris, now Chris Cuomo, he's keeping up for Botox as well. So I, they must have hit a nerve with some people. They really know what's in stuff that they inject in their bodies all the time. And they're what like, they oh, eat? They what they what drink? They eat, what they drink, all the... Stop it. Stop it with the ignorance. And we have to stop saying, oh, well, you know, you have to listen to people and uh, no, you don't. These people are being harmful to the greater good. You don't have to listen to a minority of people who are being harmful to the greater good and who are not acting on logic, reason and science. 
how do you know they're not acting on logic, reason, and science? Like I said before, there are scientists out there saying that this is not safe. You know what I'm saying? This, this scientist out there is saying that this is not safe. So how do you know that they're not acting on logic and reason because it's not fitting your agenda? This is really getting disturbing with CNN and other news outlets such as this is doing. I had, the, I had an issue, I told you, Chris, when my family was here and they were saying, well, I don't know, I just don't know. I said, you know how you got here to visit me in New York? You took an airplane. What is that? Science, right? You know why people live to be older than 40, 50, 60 years old these days? Science, medicine, no one questions that. You know why people, it, you know what, what is so contradictory about it? When people get sick, they go into the hospital and they say, throw it all, give it to me, inject it, put it in me. And you're going to pay a whole lot of money and you're going to tax the medical system when you could have gotten it for free. All right. Um, for my life, I could just speak for myself. Only time I go to a doctor or like a medical prof- practice and use what they give me, it was a medical emergency. Like when I had my bicycle accident, they gave me things to numb the pain. You know what I'm saying? Then once they gave me things that I didn't feel comfortable with numbing the pain, I stopped taking it. But as far as anything else, I try to do a more of a holistic way of curing myself. And I've been doing that for the past 10 years. So that's just for me personally. You know, so I can't speak for everybody else who go to the doctor. And another thing to combat what he says, these things that people are taking at the doctors and hospitals have long trial periods to see different side effects. That's the thing. So when you have something that has different side effects, you know what's going on in your body or you know what this thing could do in your body. Okay, I feel more safe knowing that there's been a trial. And I know I feel more safe that if something does go wrong, somebody's held responsible, somebody's held liable. With the um, vaccine, nobody's held liable if whatever happens to your body. So because that's part of um, Operation Warp Speed. All right, but that's the end of the video anyway. Um, my thoughts on that, man. I think in that CNN is losing the identity, right? They had a great identity politics as far as you know with trump and you know everybody who's anti-trump watch cnn and now trump's not in office you see that they just reaching for anything they reach for anything and now don lemon is coming out saying that we need to shame people who's not on board of doing what the government is telling you what to do you have to question things that's my opinion you have to question things to make sure things are right for you i'm not saying that you shouldn't get the vaccine or you should get the vaccine you know you gotta do what's best for you me personally i don't have the vaccine but i understand when people say they got the vaccine everybody reasoning for getting the vaccine made sense to me for that person but also my reason for not getting the vaccine should make sense to anybody else too you know saying um i had covid so if you had covid you have natural antibodies in your body that's ready to fight covid so if you already had the antibodies and you live a certain lifestyle where you take your health you know you take your health seriously and see what you put into your body and make sure that your body's good the chances are you're likely not to die from covid you know so you're likely not to die from covid but if you do have underlying conditions you have a certain age um you have a certain weight you should take the vaccine you know what i'm saying that's just the things that that science is saying but now for whatever reason you're pushing this on to everybody there should be some hesitancy on why this is being pushed this should be like all right this doesn't add up why is this being pushed so hard why is this being pushed so hard that you got brothers like don lemon coming on tv saying yo you just need to do it if you don't do it you stupid what happened to us i guess like polarizing black men who stand up for what they believe in and not shaming nobody you know what i'm saying what happened to the martin luther kings what happened to the huey p newtons what happened to the malcolm x the marcus garvey's the stokely carmichael's what happened to these people what happened to these people said you know what let's question what they're doing and let's see this motive you know what I'm saying? We could parade and talk about these black men all the time, but we got people like this coming out doing the total opposite. And people don't call him out on it. People don't call him out on it. And people saying that, oh, it's okay that Don Lemon is doing this. He should shame people. And Don Lemon, he fits a characteristic where people would people would shame him. And I don't think it's right that people would shame him, but he is a, a gay black man in an interracial relationship. So he fits the gay card, the black card, and interracial dating card. But, you know what I'm saying? We can't question that. Even though I don't think you should, that's his life. You know what I'm saying? Like the great American philosopher Ray J said, love who you love, be who you want to be with. But nobody's questioning him, but he want to question people. So now you want to do something that could be easily done to you. And I don't think it's right on either side of the coin. You shouldn't do it to him. You shouldn't do it to people who has had the vaccine. I think that we should now start coming together and find out, have logical conversations, not this bickering back and forth to civil war amongst each other, because that's not going to get nowhere. That's not going to get in the way with nobody. 
you know what I'm saying? Like I, like I said, I understand why people get the vaccine, but also be mindful of understanding why people who don't want to get the vaccine, you know what I'm saying? But that's just my thoughts on it, man. I think people like Don Lemon and Chris Cuomo and whoever else is pushing the agenda for the vaccine or against the vaccine so hard without no real, just, I don't know, just hearsay and stuff like this. That's very irresponsible. That's very irresponsible. You calling people out, calling people stupid all over your airwaves. I mean, I'm not sure which direction CNN is going now that Trump is not in office anymore, but you can tell like they just off the rails now. That's my that's my opinion on it. What do y'all think about this, man? Y'all think Don Lemon was on point? for calling people stupid for not trusting the science that he believes or do you think that this is off off base because don lemon is now just saying that people are stupid for questioning something that just came out in uh two years right that usually usually takes about five years so that's just my thoughts on it man i just think that he's really off base i think that i don't know what's going on in cnn and why they just pushing out the stuff like this i just feel like this you know, people say there's an agenda out there and videos like this shows that there's an agenda out there. That's just my opinion on it, man. I appreciate your time. Until next time. Peace.